Just last year, Elon Musk was the seventh richest man in the world. In an extremely short time, Musk has ascended the ladder of wealth, beating out Jeff Bezos by give or take 18 billion to take down the crown of the richest man in the world. Even more importantly, the prolific investor and head of both Tesla and SpaceX is on track to become the world's first ever trillionaire. How did Musk climb so high in such a short time? How and when will Musk become history's first trillionaire? To answer that, we'll have to look at how Elon Musk became the richest man in the world in the first place. Musk was born in South Africa, the son of a Canadian model and a South African property developer. He sold his first piece of tech at the age of 10, parting with the code of a homemade video game he called Blaster for the price of $500. Musk was not exactly a rags-to-riches story. His father owned an emerald mine and was apparently in the habit of walking around with loose emeralds in his pocket. At one point, Elon's father called a sum of $800 Elon and his brother had obtained by stealing and selling one of his emeralds pocket change. No doubt, aided by this wealth, Elon began college at the age of 17 and completed his education with a Bachelor of Economics and a bachelor's degree in physics. He then dropped out of his PhD program at Stanford to begin an internet startup and begin in earnest his journey towards the enormous wealth and revolutionary success we see today. Elon Musk made his first foray into the internet age in 1995 when he, his brother Kimball Musk, and their friend Greg Corey co-founded Zip2, an early interface for businesses to gain a web presence and help tourists and residents navigate cities. The software was initially conceived as something most comparable to how Google Maps functions for business today, where you look up food and all the nearby restaurants appear except with no GPS functionality. The company was initially funded via an angel investor who remains anonymous, but it is known that on the second round of funding, Elon's father provided $200,000 to his son's company. Zip2 pivoted to software for newspapers in later years, helping publications design city travel guides and landing huge clients like the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune before its acquisition by Compaq, eventually becoming part of the program AltaVista. Zip2 was bought for $307 million, $22 million going to Elon Musk in exchange for his 7% of the shares. The success of Zip2 provided a financial springboard for Musk's next venture, PayPal, which eventually provided the funds he would need for the companies most of us know him for today, Tesla and SpaceX. PayPal started as XCOM, a similar online payment option, in 1999. In 2000, XCOM underwent a messy merger with a rival company and emerged as PayPal by 2001. This wasn't an easy process for the company, and due to his alleged tendency for highly tense disagreements, Musk was ousted from his role as CEO soon after the merger. He did remain on the board, however, and received $165 million when eBay acquired the company. Even before the eBay buyout, Musk was looking to the future and the stars. In 2001, Musk dreamed up a project then called Mars Oasis, the preliminary idea that gave rise to SpaceX. Originally, Musk wanted to build a fully self-sustaining greenhouse on Mars. He acted on this, flying to Moscow in search of an affordable rocket to launch the first stepping stones of his newest project. Musk was shocked at how expensive the Russian rockets he wanted to buy really were and went back to California with the idea of starting a company to produce affordable, reusable spacecraft. Thus began one of Elon's two major revenue streams. Today, Musk holds 48% of the privately traded SpaceX's shares. His shares alone, valued at $22 billion as of the last public financial information, in August of 2020. Although the value of the reusable spacecraft company is increasing all the time, though in the early 2000s the concept wasn't quite profitable yet. By hitting on the idea of affordable and reusable space travel basically before anyone else, Musk set himself up for success. 
As soon as he landed in the States, Musk started talking with and hiring people who could make his vision a reality. SpaceX failed its first three attempts at space flight, finally succeeding with the initial Falcon module in 2008. Backing up a bit, Tesla Motors, incorporated as an electric car manufacturer in 2003, founded by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening. In their first round of public investment in 2004, Musk bought in hard to the company, joining the board and taking a very hands-on approach with the company. Musk has held the role of CEO at Tesla since 2008, all the way up to the present day, making him the longest-running CEO of a car manufacturer. Tesla is where the majority of Musk's wealth comes from. Tesla is publicly traded, despite a small period in which Musk claimed he was buying out the company and taking it private, which is now largely viewed as a manufactured ploy on Musk's part, triggering a full U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission investigation. This was likely meant to affect the stock values in order to get back at the board of directors, which he constantly fights with according to a variety of reports. Musk owns a full 20% of the company as of now, valued at $156 billion in accordance with the company's market cap, which currently sits at $783 billion. Most people currently value Musk's net worth at $178 billion. However, Elon is actually worth about $25 billion more just from his position at Tesla. Elon has a unique deal with Tesla, giving him eventual access to $25 billion worth of additional shares. Currently, the board is still reviewing this bonus deal, so depending on how or when they rule on the agreement, Elon's net worth could jump all the way to $202 billion. $202 billion is, frankly, an insane amount of money. Yet, market analysts say Musk may be positioned to, over the coming few decades, leverage his unique position in his remarkably future-facing companies into being the first trillionaire the world has ever seen. When looking to the future, many people see the looming specter of climate change as an existential threat. Tesla and SpaceX are both companies that seek to solve climate problems in some capacity. Tesla is fighting greenhouse gases with a strategy of removal via omission, i.e. providing a viable solution to consumers that avoids pumping harmful gases into the atmosphere. The company has also managed, by virtue of high-end models, the latest tech, and a pleasant driving experience, to make itself into a lifestyle luxury car manufacturer, to the point where people who don't really care about the effects of climate change still can see the appeal of owning a high-end Tesla. A combination of the base appeal of a luxury car brand keeping pace with the continuously evolving tech of the modern world with the factor of increasing value as the effort to suppress climate change grows more and more urgent makes Tesla a business set to make any investor a bit of cash. This combination isn't theoretical either. Tesla's worth absolutely exploded last year with a 700% increase in dollar amount value over the course of 2020. If this continues, even at half this growth rate and Elon holds his stock, he could realistically cross the threshold of trillionaire before 2030. Don't discount SpaceX in the luxury climate fight dichotomy either. Though SpaceX is known now mostly for its amazing self-piloting reusable parts and several high-profile launches to the International Space Station, Elon never seems to have lost sight of his original goal of settling Mars. A possible Mars colony and the corresponding ability to become a solar system-spanning multi-planetary society is what Musk views as the ultimate security against climate change, as he has discussed in multiple interviews. Things seem to be heating up for SpaceX, as it has just recently offered up private flights to those who can afford them, opening the company to a completely new revenue stream. Predictions for the future seem to suggest SpaceX's value, and thus Musk's net worth, will only increase.